of prestigious talk show. I'm your regular host, Faith Dodo. Today we have a wonderful guest here in our midst. Guess what? I'm really, really excited to have this wonderful woman, a veteran. She's an actress. She has been in the Nollywood industry for over 25 years. And we have her, we happen to have her here live in Toronto. Aren't we lucky? So please help me welcome this beautiful woman as I uh, receive her here at prestigious talk show, Miss Rachel Onida. Thank you very much. Uh, by yourself, Miss Rachel Well, I'm Rachel Oniga, okay. a mother, a grandmother. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy and proud to be one. Okay. Uh, an actress. I enjoy my job. It's my passion. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing my job, I'm happy. I put in everything, my soul, mm. my whole being into it. So I enjoy doing the job. When I'm not working, it's like it's hell. Wow, which means you're really passionate about what you're doing. Oh, yes. Okay, so can you tell us what actually inspired you to start that job, or to start that, to go into the movie industry? Well, uh, ironically, when I was uh, young, mm -hmm. probably primary, secondary school, okay. I love acting. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this saying, the Yoruba people say, Anna Jota, somebody who dances a lot, and, uh, you know, my parents, they, they say when I was younger, mm -hmm. if I get into the washroom, the bathroom before you then so if you are going for any events or yeah. work, you'll be late. Because I will dance all the way through without bothering whether <laughs> somebody is out there or not. You knock and I won't open until I'm satisfied. Wow. So, uh, when I was uh, in the secondary school, I... You know, I had uh, acting groups mm -hmm. and all that. I enjoyed doing it. And when I left school, uh, to be frank with you, mm -hmm. professionally, uh, I am a computer programmer. Wow! But uh, along the line, you know, I stopped working, I started having children, oh. stayed home. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I had this breakup, my husband is late now. Okay. I'm sorry. Someone, oh, that's <laughs> life. <laughs> so, uh, when I, after the separation, yes. I just told myself I'm not going to dust any certificate and we'll start working. Those days, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to get a programming job. You have very few uh, companies who have uh, we hire a computer people. because then it's not all this iPad, there's this massive mm -hmm. computer rooms and all that. Wow. So it was pretty difficult uh, to get to and I said to myself, no, not that, but uh, God will make a way. Mm -hmm. I, I will never forget uh, this man, we call him Ogulai Ashade, there's this program then. The village master. When I was wow. when I was doing my uh, HSC in Federal School of Science, Victoria Island, we used to leave school, go to NTA, watch yes. them do. You know, it was like a stage uh, yes. performance, like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's for television. Yes. Uh, so that after was the yes, after the separation, mm -hmm. uh, I met him somewhere. You call or we do a in Lagos, it's a popular spot, yes. and he said, "Oh, it's like I know you somewhere." And I said, "Yes." You are luckily with job. He said, "Yes." Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? And I told him my little sad story, mm -hmm. and he said, "I think you have this flair for acting." I said, "Well, I wouldn't mind anything as long as I don't go dusting certificates and all that." Mm -hmm. And he said, "Well, next week uh, there's a location." Um, that it was in Adagri. Just like that? Just like that. Wow. And uh, I attended. It wasn't an audition. Mm -hmm. I, you know, God is so awesome. He's a merciful God. He yes. listens to prayers. Yes. I must tell you. So when I got to the set, mm -hmm. I met uh, the director, producer, Chris Obirapo, and uh, he said, well, uh, 
This is the set of Memorial Hospital. Have you acted before? Television? I said no. They gave me a script. Somebody else, they gave that person to a script who was to play my husband. I played uh, Mrs. Bright. And after the first scene, he said, you must be lying. This is not, a, because it's very wow. difficult for someone to come face the camera without fidgeting, without making mistakes. It was natural. It was natural <laughs> that wow. I was lying. I said, I know, I'm, I'm not lying. Wow. And uh, here I am today. I thank God, I give God the glory. Yes. Because, uh, and you know what, sometimes I tell myself if I never got that separation, I won't be who I am today. You see, sometimes some things happen. When God yeah. plans, we never know. Exactly. So that's, in brief, that's my story. Oh, from that, yes. yeah. That's good. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for that wonderful story. In short, I think you, you've you almost summed everything up, but with that being said, <laughs> we still have some more important questions. No problem. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, so um, I know it's been long. We call you veteran. Can you tell us uh, approximately how long you've been in the movie industry? Well, for some time now, uh, to be precise, I started 93. That's 25 years, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So. Yeah, 25 years. 25 yeah. years? Yeah. Wow, if you're watching, you can hear from uh, Rachel Nika. 25 years, trust me, is not a joke. Isn't it? <laughs> not it's easy. It's not a joke. <laughs> and you're still glowing. You look beautiful. Glory to God. Oh my goodness. I love you a lot. And I'm so, <laughs> trust exactly. me, when I first saw you, I was like, no, she is here. I was super excited. I said, Thank you know you. what? I must, I must interview you. You know, I respect you and, you know, I am super excited that you're here today. Mm -hmm. And just to follow up with uh, more questions, uh, how many movies, if you can recollect? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, <laughs> yes, I yeah, it was. Okay. 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 But I can tell you something. Yes, yeah, some, the ones uh, that we... Uh, no, if I tell all, that means I'm being partial to some uh, uh, directors. Yeah. But uh, maybe if you ask me... Yes. Challenging ones. Yes, okay. Uh, uh, we, have, we have those questions. Yeah. I'm looking forward, isn't yeah. it? No, that's it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> the question would be <laughs> Well, uh, darling, my debut was Onome. Onome. I remember yes. that movie. Yes. That movie was really, really good. Super good. Yeah. I believe most people would yeah, love that movie. Yes, like, yeah. yeah, so can you tell us a little bit? The challenges and how you were able You know, the, the, the challenging part of uh, the Bonome, yes. I think the poor woman who had to roast a plantain, they call it Boni, <laughs> in Nigeria. Yes. And uh, she suffered a lot mm -hmm. because of neglect by the husband that yes. she had to take care of the children. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this particular scene. Yes. Uh, you know, in Nigeria, back then, yeah. you have to play your stunt yes, yourself. Exactly. Yes. And here's this uh, big fire with hot coal, with the oil, it was burning my palm. I had to. And you have to make it. I had to make it really. It was hot. Yes. I have to pretend, you know, because the normal body woman exactly, that not feel do. the heat again. Exactly. And I had to fall oh. with the tray of uh, uh, hot uh, coal and all that. So from that day, I learned how to do my stunt myself. Wow. So if you tell me to fall that way, I'll tell you no. It's not convenient for me. This is the way I'm going to fall. <laughs> so you better, you know, position yes. your camera that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do the fall just once, <laughs> not twice. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So I had to I had to put in all my heart yes. to it and see how I was going to do it. And were you trying to actually position yourself yes. as the woman that that poor woman that you know? Of what course, your name in that uh, role. That Mama no me. Mama no me. Yes. So you you you, you envision yourself in that exactly. woman's role mm -hmm. and just acted everything naturally. Yeah. Right. So when you were acting that role, how do you feel? Like you felt? How did you feel? Can you just tell? You know the the, the important thing for an actor yes. is. Uh, playing the role Setting most of the time yes you don't play yourself mm -hmm. because if you see any actor who believes in playing themselves yeah. either they are stuck if uh, you are asked to play 
it's either you are only good at uh, being wicked or being good at only you know be, be this humble and all that. Then you are not an actor to me in the profession. You are not an actor. You can You don't have to be stuck as an actor. You should be able to you know play different diverse roles. Yeah, That's really and uh, yes. in doing that, yes. if you are given a, a role, the character you to play, yes, the best way you go about it is you know in our society. You have different kinds of people, you yes, have the rich exactly. people, the way they carry themselves. Mm -hmm. You can mimic, when, when you put two, three uh, rich people together and you form one character, it's explosive. Exactly. If, you, if you're playing a very poor person, middle class, mm -hmm. you know, that's the way it goes. Yes. If I'm giving a script, uh, uh, I just ask. What that is if I don't have the time to go through all that, because in Nigeria, you have to do a lot. Wow. You know? Uh, middle class, the person poor. Once I have that, it's enough. For me. You know what? You, yes, you it's enough for me. Yeah. Wow. So that's just. You're it. really good because I tell you, most you. people they find it very challenging. Even when they are given the script, it is very difficult for them to transition into somebody else mm -hmm. and say, "Okay, I will play this role." So you don't find it difficult at all. At all. The thing with me is. Uh, mm -hmm. If I'm on set, yes. If I don't put on my costume and do my makeup, it's nothing. I've not started. Wow. Just let me put on my costume, then my makeup, then I take the pull out. Wow. I go one, two, the third time, the shoot. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so really beautiful. during that, you know, period, I. I I wear that particular yes, character, yeah, character yeah. that I want, yeah. but before I do that, mm -hmm. in my mind, mm -hmm. I say a short prayer Yes, for God to give me the inspiration. Yes. And, you know, and if you have a very good director who knows you a lot yeah. Yeah. and knows what you can deliver, yes. uh, with that, if you put God first, yes. that's what I do. Yeah. And uh, sometimes that thing just comes up. That is not in the script, and, and you add it to the script. I add it to yeah, the, and the, and the director says, Yes. Oh, wow. That makes it you know, it's, Yeah. That's good. So, that's that's, you, you see, most of the time, it's not um, it's not what's in the script. If you're a professional, yeah. you have to stick you to it. You have to. And I don't like directors who, who just strict. They stay strict to the, no no no. Yeah. The, the script is just a guide. Yeah, it's a guide. It's, a guide. it's just like me. Yeah. I have it now. Uh -huh. I am not actually like exactly. It's just to guide me so that so, I won't be able yeah, to so it away from it. Like, like yeah. uh, when we did the uh, Thirty Days in Atlanta, uh, it was it was not comedy, you know. The script we were given, but see myself as uh, the mother of that kind of uh, coming from that yes. wafy side. It was mm -hmm. the team flow and. You know, it turned out to be what it is. Wow. So that's what acting is all about because if you are stuck, you just give rubbish. Wow. So another question, have you ever acted um, have you ever acted with a diverse group like other um, from other country like yes, yes. yes. Um I say about uh, fifteen years ago. Okay. Uh, I had the privilege yes. uh, to go to South Africa. I think we were the first Nigerians that went to South Africa to oh. to mm -hmm. the, the title of the, the movie is Adora. Adora. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Zamoji, mm -hmm. myself, yes. Stephanie Okereke. Okay, okay. mm -hmm. Then we had uh, some actors mm -hmm. from the UK. Yes. It, it, it was a, a white man's crew. Okay. The director, mm -hmm. the artistic directors, and other people, you know, they are white. So it was. It is splendid experience, you know what? what? Yeah. Let me share this with you. Please. On do that it. set, yes. after my makeup, I don't know, I just got tired and I slept. I was in my in my uh, coach yes. where I was in, you know, they give you like in Nigeria, when you're tired, you just sit down one place. <laughs> it's one day, they say they, you just find somewhere, lay your head there. But then they give you to make you comfortable. Yeah. comfortable. Yeah. And I just slept up. They did not wake me up. It's so when I came out, I said, oh, it's dark already. And I said, why did you? No, 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 no. You must be tired. I said, oh, these people now are full. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, 
I said, sir, which guy would think you this one? Is that when they go wake me and say, pretend, pretend, you know, enjoy it. That's what make them feel safe. That's so you be for Nigeria. Do you know? It so that was, was a different experience. Yes, right? it was a different, totally different, different experience. experience. Yeah, nice. Your work ethics is different. Yeah, but I couldn't wait to finish the whole thing and go back to Nigeria because to me it's slow. In Nigeria, I'm not pack, 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 do the TV, do another one, you know? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wonder how you guys come up with so many movies. Mm -hmm. Like here, I believe it takes them years to even come up with one in Nigeria. I believe every month, if I'm not, I don't know if I'm lying. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, one thing people forget mm -hmm. is that before we, 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 we go on location, yes. Scripts are prepared, you know, they mm -hmm. are yeah, treated mm -hmm. when it's okay before you start shoot. And if you get professionals, capable hands mm -hmm. as a, you know the crew, yes. and you have uh, you know good actors, it, it does not take you time. Wow. You know, if you have people who are wanting actors, the thing flies. So I mean, well, to us. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what people, you know, well, fine. And also depends on the road too, because if they have challenging roads, that like you have to, you know, drop some weight and everything, I don't think that would be easy. Dropping weight like, in terms of they want to lose up to uh, 50, setting weight, maybe yes, 50 pounds. Yes, 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 we've not yeah. gotten up to that <laughs> in Nigeria, yes, but we get yeah. there somehow. Yeah, but I think you guys are doing very well. We're yeah. not doing too badly. Not at all, yeah, no. trust me. Nollywood has gone global. Trust we are number three in the world. Of course. You have the, uh, yes. Hollywood, you have uh, the Bollywood, mm -hmm. and you have Nollywood glory to go. Yes. So um, we are just going to wrap up soon. And uh, uh, are you currently working on any projects? Yeah, I just finished one. It's Ebony by Ebony Life TV. Okay. Mo Abudu Abudu. Oh. Uh, it's called uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Oh God, if it comes out, it's going to be mm -hmm. blue. So do you no. give us? Nah. No, I can't. Ah, go with Sumi. Because you really pay good money. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, so, so, but it's going okay. to be a, a, a big one. And uh, I must tell you, mm -hmm. uh, when it's out, so you said it's called Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Okay, watch out. Mm. Uh, Rachel Nigga said her movie. Uh, it's not mine. It's not your movie. I, the movie I that part the project, of the part of the project mm. is actually involved. Uh, mm. in, it's coming out soon. So mm. it's titled Big Daddy. Okay. Mm. So but she refused to tell us a little. I can. It's only okay. more that can give you that. Okay, that's <laughs> the whole way to be patient. Okay, what was your first role as an actress? Can you tell us uh, the name of the movie that you played? Uh, I, I told you I started with TV mm -hmm. at uh, the Memorial Hospital. Okay. I played Mrs. Bright. Mrs. Bright. Okay. That was my first. And my debut uh, in the English movie was Onome. So, uh, Richard, uh, can you tell us uh, what you are actually doing here in Toronto? Are you on vacation? Uh, tell us what you came to do here. You came for shopping? Yeah. <laughs> uh, things are expensive here. Yeah. Really? I, I'm here on vacation. <laughs> yes. I'm here on vacation too. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is that, oh my goodness, I had fun on the 23rd of this month. That was my birthday. Happy birthday. My, 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 thank you. My sister, my little sister, mm -hmm. <laughs> she took me out, you guess what, to Niagara Falls, and it was, oh my goodness, I've never witnessed such an amazing sight in wow. my life. I hope she took pictures too. Oh boy, a lot. <laughs> Story, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very interesting. What about shopping? Yes, I've done a couple of a couple of.
it's not uh, mm -hmm. it's just it's you within this game. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. 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 Nobody's going to mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. It's just within prestigious uh, talk show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody's gonna hear. Mm -hmm. I promise. Mm -hmm. I need to promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um for those uh, new actors and actresses coming up, what advice do you have for them? Oh like uh, I always say, yeah. You have to be hardworking. Hmm. It's not a profession for lazy people. Wow. And um, you have to respect the fact that it's an honorable profession. Hmm. Oh, it's not all about glam, 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 and you okay. have to look nice mm -hmm. to be on set and all that. No. Yes, you mm -hmm. can look fine mm -hmm. and look good. But what comes out of you? It's what is important. It's wow. what people will always remember. Yes. And one thing is you learn to respect those who work for you. Mm -hmm. You learn from them. Yes. As I am today, mm -hmm. I spent a couple of years in the on, on the job. I still learn. Yeah. I pick from here, there, and there. So it, 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 knowledge is endless. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. But if you think you know it all, you get nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's easy to get to the, you know, to your feet, yeah. mm -hmm. but I ask, can you maintain it? Mm -hmm. wow. Because it's very good if you get to the top and you remain relevant mm -hmm. for years. That is what makes you a very good professional. Wow, that's a beautiful advice. Yes. Trust me. And I, I must comment, you are a very humble person. Thank Trust you. me, for somebody that has been in the movie industry, the first time I met you, the way you hold yourself, Trust me, I must say you are uh, a good example of uh, a mentor for those that are coming up. It is good to remain humble. Yeah, yeah, and I love you for that. You, you know what, my dear? The thing is, any situation or any any position you find yourself, yeah. is God's grace. Yes, that's true. It's not as if you are the best. True. And I tell you something. When I started my career. In less than a year and a half, I've gotten to the top. Wow. I've had awards, mm -hmm. I've had to go to the UK for awards and all that. It's hard work and you have to be humble. Yes. Because if you are humble, God will lift you up. That's true. But if you are proud, it's destruction. Yes, that's true. Pride leads to destruction. Mm -hmm. And people celebrate you more when you are humble. And uh, I really want to thank you for that. This advice is really wonderful. Uh, thank you for coming once again to prestigious talk show. Thank I would you. like to have you next summer here in Toronto again. Sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, I'll buy a plane ticket. Don't worry. Then it will be business. Yes. Now it's sister sister. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not, I know that's just okay. We'll sponsor. Maybe you come to do something here. Yeah, no worries. It's my job any day, mm -hmm. anytime, any day. Yeah, I'll be so happy and honored yeah. to be here again. Yeah. Yes, we've had a nice time with uh, Rachel Liga here live on Prestigious Talk Show. And I want to thank you for watching. And remember, you are not alone. I remain your host, Faith Dodo. Thank you.